there were prizes, you can take a ample networking opportunities, you guys have another intern, you? and plenty of people willing to connect outside of this bustling room. Are you signing up? Yes. Say yes. It's so nice to see like so many different booths from so many different genres of media. From photography to performing arts, television to radio, this is Victoria's first youth film and media career fair. You see career fairs for business and for you know uh, computer science, engineering, and where you can go and speak with employers. But in the arts, um, this we don't see this as much. So the Vancouver Island South Film Commission is helping these young minds navigate a future in the arts with an emphasis on film. A lot of people are moving to Vancouver, some are retiring, so we're looking to the future and thinking we really need to make sure that there's people ready to step into those positions. But those vacancies aren't happening by chance. Film Commissioner Kathleen Gilbert says it's a direct result of some tough times the BC film industry is facing. Ontario has come out probably in the last year or so and has introduced some amazing tax credits um, and it's, it's really hard for us to compete with those tax credits. The tax credits Ontario gets is a 25% rebate on everything the film producer spends. Not the case in British Columbia. Here it's a 35% credit but only on labour. But that's not their only concern. A few years back, BC introduced a 6% tax credit for films being shot outside the province's main production areas. So everywhere in BC became eligible for this credit, except Greater Vancouver and Greater Victoria. We really don't want to spend a lot of time trying to find out why. We just want to get it changed and want to get us back uh, included into the uh, 6%. Kathleen says there's a few other reasons why the film industry is hurting. Movie budgets have been shrinking since 2008, which means those productions aren't hiring as many people. And then the Canadian dollar is doing so well that productions out of the states aren't venturing north as often. So the Film Commission is trying to come up with some creative ways to bring this industry back to our island. Whether it's lower um lower permit fees, whether it's lower parking fees or whether it's lower location fees, uh, we can find ways to help you uh, make the same picture here on the island that you could if you were in Vancouver or just outside of Vancouver. So the industry is pushing hard on the government to make some of these changes. They've started a petition and have collected nearly 30,000 names. The hope is that big time productions like X-Men will once again come to the South Island. In Victoria, I'm Jen Moranitz.